in the first. Anyway, we'll soon see what happens in the Ross Berry and Rob Staniforth Memorial, sponsored by Kevin Milley, Miller, Winnie, Lennon and Co. As Settlers moves up and they're about set to go here, stand by. All set here, the two of them settle into the barrier stools. And they're about to go. Data still holds them here. So let's hope they both come out all right because we don't want to have a one horse race. Although I did call a one horse race, a walk over at the old Wamboy meeting one year. They're off and racing. Uh, Rehanat, as all favourites should do, lobbed about a length and a half in front after they've gone about 50 metres with settlers. Uh, getting onto its tail as they go down the back and Rehanat. Uh, this seven year old mare is only a length and a quarter now on settlers as they're about to leave the back and Michael Hackett, the former professional jockey on Rehanat, kicked away two and a half lengths on Settlers, ridden by Alan Barton, who is based over at Galgong. They're down the side now, they've got about 500 to go, and Rehanat bowling along in front, she's out by three lengths to Settlers. Alan Barton is starting to chase hard on Settlers, but up around the home turn, and if you've got a bet in this race, the uh, result you'll be waiting for, is it going to be heads or is it going to be tails? So halfway down the straight and Rehanat out by five lengths to Settlers. The jockey peeping back over his shoulder on Rehanat. It's a fair way away to the second horse and Rehanat cruises home, wins by about eight or nine lengths. Settlers ran second and Settlers, not a bad day's work. It's going to make more than what I make today because Settlers gets $1,000 for running second. Anyway, the um, race has been run and won by Rehanat. Raced by a very, very good client of the Sharon Jeffries stable, namely Phil Eisman. He's had horses for years with Sharon Jeffries. And they picked this one up for very, very little money. I think it was a leftover at one of the sales down in Sydney. They snapped it up for next to nothing and it's now taken its prize money earnings to um, a fair whack. I think it's um, won about $65,000 now. So Rehanat, a seven-year-old chestnut mare, uh, raced by Phil Eastman, trained by Sharon Jeffries, and that's the first win back for Michael Hackett, riding at the picnics. Very good uh, professional jockey, Michael Hackett, but he works in the mines now over at Parks, and uh, he can't get that many weekends off, so he's just going to ride at the picnics, and he has a comeback winning ride here on Rehanart with Settlers, trained by Les Bright from Wellington, running second with Alan Barton in the saddle. Righto, so race three, we'll get the uh, full placings in a moment. Um, race four, having a look at race four, no scratchings in race four, no riding changes, race four, time to go at 3.55, but in the meantime we've still got to get the official placings on race three, together with the margins and times. <laughs> 